Okay, so now that our form is complete um, and we've gone through all of our questions, we're going to go ahead and talk about how to send the form. How do we get this form to um, either post in our classroom or put it in an email or just get the link? So there's a button up here called send. And that is what we're going to use um, to send in an email. You could send within this email and you can put your respondents in here your subject, your message, whatever you want to say, include the form in email means that it will be embedded in the email itself. So we can go ahead and take a look at that. I'll send it to myself, include the email in the form, and we can send it like that as an email. We can also get the link. Now the link comes out kind of long. So if you're going to be posting this link somewhere for people to click on, you might want to check the box that says shorten URL to get something a little bit shorter. And whoever clicks on this link will be opening your form as long as they meet the requirements of your form. So in other words, if you have it set to only um, respondents from COUSD, then they'd have to be in that email to do that. And you could copy from here. You also have your embed form. So if you're running a website and you want to take this code and copy, go back to your website in the embed widget and paste, and this whole form would show up, not a link to it. The whole form looking like this would show up inside your website. Okay, so if I go back here to my inbox, here's that message I just sent to myself. And I can go ahead and continue through the survey, or I could actually open up Google Forms from here. What if I'm in classroom and I want to post my survey or my form to my class? So we'll go ahead and open up a particular class. We're going to go into create an assignment. And since I've already created this, I'm going to go ahead and say add from drive. It should show up in my recent because I was working on this right now. It's called sample survey. I'm going to add and there it is. Notice there's no view copy, view only edit settings, none of that stuff. I'm going to give it a title, maybe some instruction for my students, and I'm going to go ahead and post. On the student side, they're going to click on this link. It'll open up the survey. They will start answering. And we'll talk about those responses, um, how to look at those responses in the next video. So let me go ahead and close this for a second because I do want to also show you that there is a quiz assignment. Um, I recommend not using the quiz assignment function. I recommend creating your survey like we did in your drive and working with your survey until you're ready and then go to assignment and attach it. Quiz assignment is going to create an assignment with a blank quiz here. Now I need to open the blank quiz and actually create it. And so it does a little bit of different functions with the linking of it too. So um, that's just an extra little tidbit um, that it's a better idea to use the assignment and then go ahead and put your survey in there. The other thing you can do, there's not really a share button like we normally see the little person with the plus sign. In forms, we go to these three dots and we have some options here, uh, which are pretty self-explanatory, but add collaborators. That means anyone I put in as a collaborator, and you'll see this looks familiar now. If I add anybody, they can click on this link and they can add, take away, um, edit, modify, do whatever they want. And then we'll work on this together um, as a small group um, or however many people you want to be collaborators on there. Okay. Um, in the meantime, you are able to do the same thing in an email. If you were to write an email and you wanted to attach your survey in here, you would just insert from drive. So that's a different way to do email as opposed to from the form. And then um, lastly, when you're doing this, you also, oops, um, in your drive, you're going to find that your survey is here. If I right click on it and go to my share settings, I can see what my share settings are. If you go in here and say get shareable link, you really want to be sending it from the Google Forms area. If you accidentally get in here, um, then those settings can be um, a little bit skewed and you have to come back here and fix it. So notice my link sharing is off and that's fine because I'm going to be sharing my survey through here, through email or a link or here, or I'm going to go just straight to classroom 
and put it in my classroom. And remember, who can actually access this form? In this case, it's going to say you cannot access it if they aren't logging in with their COUSD accounts. If I take that off, anyone I send this to can open this up. Okay, so you do want to stay within these send settings. Know that you can create an email and attach from Drive. Um, know that you can go to Classroom and post an assignment and you just select your form and your students will be able to take it. Stay away from clicking over here and talking and clicking on your shareable link. That tends to create a little bit more um, problems. But I do have a video on um, my shareable link settings are stuck on edit, which happens often. How do I fix it? So if that happens to you, you can go ahead and visit that video and get that um, squared away. Okay. So those are our ways in which we can now send our survey or form now that we have it 